Hey love bugs and welcome back to my channel. So I realized that you know like I've been gone so long that we've like skipped the whole season so I figured we should probably do some empties. <laughs> um I think I did an empties at the top of the year. That was my winter empties so this is going to be no, that was my fall empties. So this is going to be my winter empties. If you are new here and you don't know what empties are, basically it's me going through my trash, showing you guys all the products that I have used up for the season. Um, and it usually includes everything, hair care, skin care, body care, all that good stuff. But usually it's mostly hair care. So I don't have a ton of stuff, but I have a decent amount of stuff. So if you're interested in seeing what I've used up this season, then just keep on watching. All right, first things first before we get into it, because a lot of times I forget to do this, scent of the day. Um, my scent of the day is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. I will have it down in the description box below. This is a really beautiful marshmallow orange blossom, kind of like a really pretty candy sweet fragrance, really great for dates, Netflix and chill. Um, it's pretty, but still cozy. And I get lots of compliments with her. So that is my scent of the day. So let's go ahead and just get right into the empties. Um, first things first. I don't know if y'all care about this, but Listerine. Little gum therapy or whatever. I just threw it in here because it was empty. But I used this up. I Honestly, I probably shouldn't be using that. I think Listerine is actually like bad for you. Because it like burns. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I just be using stuff. <laughs> we also used up a Dove Sensitive Skin Body Wash. Um, I mostly like leave this for my brother, but I do often use it too on days when um, I don't want any fragrance on my body. I will use that. Oh, this is a really good... Me and my brother have been using these up. This is the Ajwa Beauty Bale Mint Curl Defining Cream with Baobab Winter Mint and Spearmint Oils. This is... I have like quite a, had quite a few backups of these little ones they don't sell these anymore the little sizes but i had quite a few of them um so i actually think my brother has already used up two others of this me and him both used up this one and i think we have one more of the little guys but he uses this every day um and he loves it and his hair has been like really happy i think he left this open so it's a little it's a little crusty. I mean, he left it open one day and I looked and I was like, yeah, that's done. Um, but he uses this on his hair daily. Um, he keeps it relatively short, but it, it does wonders for him and his hair has really been liking this. Um, but I also use this usually on like my braid outs on dirty hair or if I blow my hair out, I will use this um, and do braids or I will use this for bantu knots. Um, it's great for both. This makes your hair feel really soft and hydrated and moisturized. Um, it's not one of those creams that is like really, really tacky. Um, I know a lot of people like stuff like that. I actually like creams like that for wash and goes, but when it comes to twist outs, braid outs, stuff like that, those actually aren't my preferred because they make my hair stick together. Um, and they make me look scalpy. So I actually prefer something like the Ajwa. Um, because it allows me to get the fluff and the bounce, um, without looking like a naked mole rat. So, <laughs> I really enjoy this. Y'all know I love Agile Beauty's products. Um, and I'm happy that we're getting through those creams. Because y'all know it's hard for me to get through creams. So, um, usually stuff like that, I share it with my brother and we get through it pretty quickly. Um, I have some vitamins here. These are the Vital Proteins Women's Multi Gummies and the Raspberry Flavor. Um, I like these. I didn't really see any difference from any th other thing that I've taken. Really, the only reason I switched from my Ollie ones is because they changed them. They decreased um, the overall <clears throat> percentage of the vitamin content. And then they changed the flavor of them too. And they taste like ass now. So, um, these are the most similar to them that I've found, and I do like them. I will probably repurchase them, especially because I can get them at, like, Target and stuff like that. They're easy to pick up, so I like those so far. They're never going to, like, fully replace the old Ollie Women's Multivitamin. I, I love those so much, but, you know, it is what it is. I have a Nature's Little Secret Fenugreek Detangling Pre-Poo. 
um, made with fenugreek extract. You guys know this is one of my favorite pre-poos of all time. Um, I have talked about this so much on the channel. The consistency is absolutely perfect. She has really perfected this over the over the last like year or so, and it's perfectly smooth. Um, this glides through the hair so easily. Uh, I don't. I honestly don't even need to add water to my hair. Like if I'm using this, I don't have to. But I usually do. I'll mist my dry hair with a little bit of water and run this through to help detangle before I shampoo. Like I said before, I don't use pre poos to try to lessen the effects of my shampoo. I want my hair to get clean. Um, if I use a pre poo, it's because my hair is tangled and I need to do something before. I put shampoo on my head. <laughs> so that is what I use pre-poos for. And this is my top one. I also really, really like the African Pride, but this right here, she's everything. Um, I do still have my Code with Nature's Little Secret. I'll leave it here on the screen. Um, I think it's third out of 15, <clears throat> I think. And I'll also have it in, in the description box below for you guys to use to pick up your Nature's Little Secret products. Um, Y'all know I love me some NLS. I love Charnay. <clears throat> Nature's Little Secret is bang. Forever. <laughs> um, I talked about this in a video that I think is going to go up after this. Um, this is the Curl Origin Pink Superfoods Hydra Melt Hair Mask. I do have a video on the Pink Superfoods Wash Day Collection, which you guys know I love that collection. The charcoal shampoo is like everything to me. Um, and I also absolutely love this. It's on the thinner side. This is um, formulated for um, thin and more medium hair strands. It's a little bit there. It's not watery, but it is. Having this stuff in a bag is like not not it. Um, I never put my stuff in a bag. I don't know why I did this time. <laughs> It is on like the thinner side, but it's not runny. This has so much slip, tons of moisture. Like it makes my hair feel so soft and supple, but it doesn't make my hair feel overly soft. It doesn't make it feel gummy. It's like, honestly, like the perfect level of just like, it feels like my hair took a good big gulp of water. Like it just, it makes my hair feel so good. This is one of my favorite deep conditioners from Core Origin. It just makes my hair super duper happy um, to the point where I just featured it in a favorites video. So that just tells you that I really, really love it. But I finished off a couple of these. Um, I finished off this one, but I finished off another one last year as well. Um, and I'm on my last jar of it. So I love this. Um, I will have a video coming soon featuring the styling products in the Pink Superfoods collection. So it'll be a full wash day with the Pink Superfoods. But that, oh, that deep conditioner is life. I highly, highly suggest that if you are looking for a really good deep conditioner, something that's really going to penetrate into the strands and just make your hair feel luscious, she's the one. Um, I finished off this main choice, Ancient Egyptian um, Advanced Nourishing and Rejuvenation Body Wash. I love the Ancient Egyptian body stuff. I've really gotten into the hair care too. You guys know that I've gotten back to using the Ancient Egyptian hair care line and I really enjoy it, but I've always loved the body products in the Ancient Egyptian line. I love the smell, it's, oh, it's so good. The body wash is silky and hydrating. Mm. It smells so good. And I have the lotion somewhere over here on my workstation. Um, the lotion isn't finished yet. I still have like a quarter of the bottle left. I usually finish off the body wash before the lotion. Um, but this is so nice. It's just silky. It makes your skin smell like, to me, this kind of smells like, um, like a fancy mangoes. Like it's fruity, sweet, but not too sweet. I love it. And then adding the lotion on top. The lotion is really silky, but it has a lot of those oils in it and it, it just makes your skin feel buttery. So absolutely love the body wash and I love the lotion too. Let's see, we got some body care stuff, um, some bath stuff specifically. This is the, I think it's the Year of the Tiger. Yeah, 
yeah, this is the Year of the Tiger Bubble Bar. Um, I recently did a video, well, not recently, like a month ago, did a video featuring this product. Um, I will leave some clips. I'm pretty sure I still have them um, saved. This is one of their bubble bars. Well, one of her bubble bars. So this is from Ruled by Mercury Bath Company. This was so nice. It was in the shape of a tiger. Like I said, I'll have pictures. Um, and it was like red and it had like the, the little embossing of the tiger. I love bubble bars because I can just put them in my little bubble bar basket and run them underneath the faucet and they make tons of bubbles and hers like are really moisturizing. Um, this also had a little bit of shimmer on it too. So good. It smells absolutely amazing. I love Rule by Mercury Bath Company. You guys know I've been working with Rule by Mercury Bath Company for a while. I love the products. I love the brand. I love the owner, Elizabeth. She's amazing. One of my favorite people to work with. Um, but I also just love the aesthetics, the art, the, the attention to detail. Like it's all just amazing. Um, and when I used that bubble bar, I used it with the Year of the Dragon bath bomb. Y'all, first of all, I can still smell it on here. It smells and absolutely like stunning bath bomb. Um, I think the, the most beautiful part of this bath bomb was on the top of the bath bomb, there were these really beautiful dragon soaps. So embossed on the top of the bath bomb and then you actually get the bath bomb and you get the beautiful colors. I will, like I said, I'll have pictures and clips in here of those products so you can see them. Um, I think the last time I was in the shop, some of those bubble bars were left, but I don't think that there were any more of these bath bombs there. Um, you guys know she does different launches and collections. So when you see something you want, you got to get it while it's hot. I will have my code here on the screen for you guys to use. It's third eye 10 to use in the shop all the time. Um, so you can save on your purchases. If you love bath products, if you love taking a nice hot bath and you love having that really beautiful experience or you just want to get somebody like a really special gift something that like they wouldn't just be able to find themselves all the time like Royal by mercury bath company is a plate is a great place to shop for other people who love bath stuff those two that bubble bar and that bath bomb just, just absolutely everything <laughs> we've got some hand soap um, we used up a vanilla cloud foaming hand soap. See notes were whipped vanilla, apple blossom, and sandalwood. It was really, really nice. Smelled good. And then we also used up a frozen lake hand soap. And the notes are frozen cypress, eucalyptus, and juniper berry. Really nice, crisp, clean winter scent. Um, absolutely love that one. You know, soap is soap. <laughs> Um, let's see, some more hair care. I finished up another Cheers conditioner, me and my brother both. I mean, look at, they always look like we went through hell to use them. <laughs> but y'all know that it's one of my favorite conditioners. I have tons of them underneath my sink. Um, I haven't repurchased any lately. Um, I'm kind of letting them run out because I have a lot of other, like, um, rinse out conditioners that I need to use so I haven't been as focused on repurchasing that but I always have at least two bottles somewhere in my collection because it's my favorite conditioner I think you can only get those on the main choice website now though so just like a heads up and then I also used up the TGIN rose water hydrating hair mask I did a video on this entire collection uh a year two years ago absolutely love it this was really really nice um i think there's been like some texture issues with them because i know like mine was relatively thin but i've seen other people use this collection and theirs was like super duper thick but i really really enjoy this i enjoy the entire collection would i repurchase this absolutely because you can always get tgin on sale um it's a bomb deep conditioner I love TGI and deep conditioners in general. So like I'm always going to have one of each in my collection because that's just me because I, I love them. <laughs> um, I think I'm almost out of 
the ones from the Miracle Repair Collection. And I think I'm almost out of another one of the Honey Miracle masks too. But I always have TGI and deep conditioner in my collection. Like it never fails. Let's see. I have actually quite a bit of makeup in here, surprisingly. It's taken me longer to get through makeup because like, I mean, we've been in a pandemic and I don't wear makeup under my mask. So um, I haven't been using it as much. If I'm wearing makeup, it's for YouTube. Um, so I have two brow pencils. I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz. My shade is Ebony. I don't, I didn't like this. Now, to be fair, I low key kind of felt like this was old because I got this from Ulta and when I rolled it up, like it looked, like y'all know, when you get old chocolate, like you go to somebody's house and they give you a piece of chocolate and it's like ashy, like you can tell it's old. That's kind of how the brow pencil looked. It was a little harder than I prefer and it broke. Like the first time I used it, it broke. So I did not enjoy my experience with this at all. This is my first time using it. I used to use the, um, the brow pomade from Anastasia and I loved that. Um, a lot of people don't like it because they don't know how to use it and they don't know how to keep themselves from looking like they have doodle bob brows. Um, but I love that stuff. I would get that over the brow wiz if, but I, like I said, I kind of feel like this was old. So I don't think it's a 100% solid experience, but I did not like this. Now this brow pencil, I love, um, and I'm mad at myself because I told myself during this last Sephora sale, I didn't need anything. I wasn't spending my money. Um, but I forgot that I ran out of stuff. <laughs> like, I forgot until I, like, sat down to do my makeup today. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm out of a lot of stuff. Um, this is the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencil. Mine is in the shade um seven number seven black brown now i know the last couple of times i went to repurchase this it was out of stock like my shade was out of stock um the last sephora sale i went to repurchase this and my shade was out of stock and i think that's kind of why i kind of forgot about it because i couldn't get it it seems like every time i fall in love with a brow product it ends up being hard for me to get um because i used to use the brow pencil from ColourPop, the micro brow brow pencil and for the longest time, they were like, they just didn't bring it back. And then I was like, I guess I need to find a new brow pencil. <laughs> um, but I love this. It's like, it has a super fine tip. Like that is what it looks like. Um, and you can't, there's a little bit of it left, but it has a super fine tip. Um, it's one of those that you need to be careful with. Do not roll this all the way up thinking you're going to draw your, no, no. Um, you need to roll this up the slightest way. And you just need to do like the lightest strokes. And you can create little hairs. It looks so beautiful and natural. The color is perfect. The spoolie on this is nice too. It's thick and it actually catches the hairs. I love this brow pencil. It is everything. I enjoy a lot of Huda Beauty products. I'll be honest. Um, a lot of her stuff is like bomb, diggity, bomb. So absolutely love this brow pencil. Um, I will be repurchasing it. Hopefully it's in stock because I need to get more. This is one of those like brow pencils. I will purchase like four or five at a time because I feel like, I, like I hate running out of brow products. Like it, to me, it's the most tedious thing ever. I will stockpile my brow stuff simply because it pisses me off that I have to go buy more. Like it feels like the most tedious thing ever. And it seems like whenever I run out, I can never find what I need. So I, it's something that I tend to hoard. I'll probably buy like three or four of them so I don't have to purchase another one for like the next two years. And then I used up both of my setting sprays. Um, I finished off my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is a classic. Um, I haven't had to purchase this in a while. I think a couple of VIB sales back, I got like a pack of them, like a pack of two. I got like two packs of two. So I haven't had to repurchase this product in years. This was my last bottle. Um, it's good. It does its job, keeps the makeup on. I prefer to use a setting spray just because I feel like it melds like the powder and all that stuff together. Um, so my face doesn't look harsh. And then I also used up the Fenty Beauty, what is this called? What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. I love this. This is nice. This is, this is good. 
if you like to have that like subtle glow to your face but you don't like to look oily then this is bomb um it melds all the makeup together but it still holds everything in place it gives you a little bit of a dewy finish but it doesn't look greasy it doesn't look oily and it doesn't disturb my makeup this is amazing and this lasted me for a while too i think i purchased this like at the top of the pandemic so this lasted me a while i need to get another one i will probably wait to purchase it until Fenty does another friends and family sale because the friends and family sales for Fenty are always better than the sales on Sephora. So um, I'll probably wait until then to repurchase this, but this is really, really nice. One of my favorite complexion products from them, for sure. I used up my Butter Baby Apple Strudel Body Butter. <sighs> Y'all know me and Butter Baby are like peas and carrots. Like I, I love, I love Butter Baby. I actually... I have been trying to force myself not to purchase any Butter Baby because I have so much body butter and my collection is ridiculous and I need to use it instead of purchasing. So I have been trying to be good um, and not purchase anymore. But she has so many new scents out and I want to get all of them. And I think in the next couple of months, I'm probably going to cave. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this because this is like one of my favorite gourmand scents. You guys know I love gourmand fragrances. Um, and this is everything. This smells, ugh. Apple strudel, like, doesn't even encompass how good this smells. Like, it, you can smell the apples and the spices. Mm. And it, it even has a little bit of a boozy quality to it, but you can also smell the pastry. Like, it smells so good and warm and just delicious and comforting. It's mouthwatering. I like to pair this with Killian Angel Share um fragrance and it just it, one of my favorite scents for like the cold weather this and Killian Angel Share it's just everything I get so many compliments Butter Baby's body butters are so incredibly moisturizing like they leave your skin looking and feeling like life like everything like this so good um and the owner is just amazing like she is like boss lady type like she's on it her stuff is bomb um I definitely plan on repurchasing this I'm gonna get the bigger jar next time um but I love this they last a long time a little goes a long way I highly suggest getting out of the shower gently patting your skin dry adding like a lightweight like hydrating lotion and then put this on top and when I tell you your skin will be forever changed and I promise you it'll change your life I also used up this lip mask from Laneige. This is the lip treatment balm. Um, and it looks like this. It kind of looks like a little like UFO. And it has a little spatula in it. I stopped using this because somehow copper got to it and managed to pull this out. Why are dogs like this? And he chewed it up. So I just left it in there and I've been using it with my fingers ever since. Um, this is like a lightweight lip mask it's a little pearlescent so it adds a little bit of a sheen to your lips but it's not anything too bad it didn't make my lips look purple or anything this was really really nice very hydrating and it also had like that cooling feeling so it was supposed to like plump your lips a little bit um i really really like this i don't think i like it more than the sleeping masks but i still really really liked it though um they sent this to me i don't foresee myself purchasing it but it was really really nice then I do have one from Glow Recipe. I got through like half of this, but the color is starting to change. So I think that it's time for me to get rid of it. This is These are the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops for ultimate glow and brightening. Um, so this is like a, it's supposed to be like that hybrid, like skincare and makeup kind of thing. It's supposed to give you that glass skin effect. Um, this was really, really nice back when the pandemic started and my skin was really, really dry from wearing the mask. And I would put this all over my face, but it really helped like around here where the mask would touch my face and everything was really dry. Um, but once I kind of got my skin rebalanced, this was just too much for me. Um, it's very, it's very viscous for like a serum-y type product. Um, and it's just a little bit too heavy for my skin now. But I feel like if you have really, really dry skin, um, you struggle with dry patches, you're trying to get more of that glass skin effect, this is a really, really great product. It's just not something that I need. 
Um, but I've really been falling in love with Glow Recipes products. Um, I love their moisturizers. <clears throat> I just got their new serum that came out, the strawberry salicylic one. Oh, it's right here. Um, I've been using this at night as my one of my current actives, and my skin is loving it. It's bomb. Um, I, I really like Glow Recipes products. They get a lot of flack, but my skin has really been liking them, so I'll take it. And a lot of things have been really, like, making my skin sensitive, but most of the Glow Recipe products that I have tried have not made my skin feel tight, sensitive, irritated, or caused any type of, like, allergic reactions or breakouts. So I've been enjoying the products. You know, you do you. Skincare is, like, definitely one of those personal things, so... Um, but so far Glow Recipe has been doing my skin very well. I also finished up a cleanser. This is from the brand Sulwasu. This is the Gentle Foaming Cleanser. They sent this to me a while ago. I think I did like a, a routine using this product and their cleansing oil. This is really, really nice. This is a beautiful cleanser. Um, it is very gentle. The foam on this is really, really nice. Gets my skin really clean. But still, it doesn't like strip it and it doesn't make it feel dry. Like when I rinse my face, I can still see like a glow to my skin. The only thing is that like these products from Sulwasu are like ridiculously expensive. And I don't think I can justify repurchasing this. Like you guys know I'm the type of person, if I really, really like it and it's game changing for me and it's expensive, then it's fine. Like I, I'll buy it. <laughs> um, but it's not like a necessity. Like I I have a really good gel cleanser, my Neutrogena one. I need to repurchase that too. Um, the Neutrogena cleanser that I use is just as good, just as effective. This is really, really nice. It's definitely a splurge item. I don't think I would go out of my way to repurchase this because it's not game changing. It's not like it just eradicated all of my acne or, you know, made my skin look like 10 times better. Like it's it's a cleanser, you know, um, and there are very few cleansers, especially high end cleansers that I really, really like just go balls to the wall for. Um, this is not one of them. This cleanser is like a good, it, it's expensive. It's, it's more expensive than it's worth. Um, and I feel that way about this and the cleansing oil and the first care serum that they have. I think it's called the first care activating serum. It's nice. And my skin drank that baby up. But it's it's ridiculously expensive for what it is. It just is. So I really like this. If you're someone who's like into like the really expensive skincare, cool. But I also feel like especially with a lot of these um Asian companies, um Korean and Japanese based skincare, it really kind of feels like a ripoff when you know purchasing them in the states because a lot of these. Like, a lot of Korean and Japanese skincare is not expensive. Like, not this expensive. Um, a lot of the really good stuff is not priced like this. Um, and if you really, like, shop, like, Korean or, like, any type of Asian skincare brand, like, you know this. Like, you know, like, their products generally aren't that expensive. Um, this is, like, just, it, it's, it's not worth the price. It's amazing. It's nice. It's beautiful. But this is not worth the price. Last product, I mentioned this um, in my video. I spoke about this, but I didn't show it. Um, this is the Herbivore Cloud Jelly uh, Plumping Hydration Serum with vegan collagen, tremella, and strawberry. I love this. This really got me believing in hydration serums, okay? Because I've tried some, and they've been okay. Usually relatively sticky, like not my zhuzh, but they've been all right. They've been okay. This right here, I loved. This, it sinks into the skin beautifully. It doesn't pill up with my other makeup products and it also doesn't um, pill up with my other skincare products. Sometimes like I put on a serum and then I put on a moisturizer and like as I'm rubbing the moisturizer in, I realize it's pilling up on my face. Um, this does not do that. It is lightweight but it still has substance to it. It makes my skin feel so soft and plump and hydrated. It's been one of my favorites. This, and like I mentioned in that video, there's a new Dermalogica one that I'm using that I'm loving. And I could use, I could honestly like kind of go in between the two interchangeably. 
Um, this is amazing. Now, first of all, I, collagen, I don't believe really has any benefits topically. I think collagen has more benefits taking it internally. So, I, but I, I didn't get it for the collagen. I got it for the, the hydration part. <laughs> I've really been focusing on like making sure that my skin is not dehydrated, um, in, increasing my water intake, but also using products that aren't going to overly dry out my skin. Cause sometimes I find that like the texture and the bumps on my skin really don't have anything to do with all the other stuff. And it's just that my skin is dehydrated. Um, and this is amazing. It makes my skin feel so plump and soft and just touchable. So having a really good hydration serum in my routine has been a game changer. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is just finding a hydration serum that is just purely hydrating and it's not pumped up with a bunch of other actives. Like um, there's one that I got sent to me, um, this. And it has, it's a hydrating facial serum but it has, it has retinol in it. And I'm just like, but I don't want retinol in my hydrating serum. Like I like to have my stuff separate. I like to be able to use my hydration serum. And if I just want a purely hydrating routine, I can just do that, you know, my hydration serum, a really good like night cream, neck cream, whatever, um, and go about my business. I don't wanna have to worry about that being in there too. Um, and I hate it when brands do that. Like I don't need you to put 10,000 actives and something that's supposed to be simple. Like, I don't need that. Stop it. <laughs> um, so I absolutely love this. It's really, really nice. Um, Herbivore is just a really nice brand anyway. Um, but this is one of the first products that I've used from them that I've really, like, fallen in love with. I've tried some other things from them. They've been nice. Um, some of them have been a little too strong for my skin. But this one, like, my skin absolutely loved. Um, I think there's, like, some other cloud products from this collection. So I might try them out. But, um... I definitely would repurchase this again. Right now I'm using the one that Dermalogica sent me, but I totally would, would purchase this again. It, it, it's bomb, it's amazing, I love it. So that is it for my empties. Like I said, I didn't go through a ton of things. Like I said, I haven't been taking care of my hair the way I'm supposed to. I haven't been doing my 5011 self-care sessions like I usually do. All that stuff I haven't really been doing, but I feel like I still went through a decent amount of things. So I'm not complaining. Have y'all been using up a lot of products? I feel like this time of year, like this empties in general, like I don't usually have as many things that I go through. I'm really definitely going to try to make a point to try to get through some more hair care stuff over the next season, just because like I'm finding more jars that are like almost empty. So I have stuff that I need to just use off that's just not getting enough attention. So I'll hopefully have way more empties next season. But yeah, let me know how is emptying your stash coming along? <clears throat> and what are some products that you are loving this season? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.